Hey, welcome back third graders. It is week six, day two. Notice we're starting on day two because yesterday we had off, Monday we had off. So and we have a four day week this week. So we have this week and next week and we should be all done. All right, let's get right to work. And I'm gonna be checking my phone again all this time. Um, I did already do this lesson once already. My phone messed up again. So anyways, here are the answers. Matter of fact, I think I'll check my phone right now, maybe while you check your answers. Hey, it looks like she's still recording. All right, so there was nothing with the word, wrong with the word can, so C-A-N. U is okay, Y-O-U. The only thing, really problem was juggle. Juggle, the L and the E need to be switched around. And then we had a question mark at the end. And then the cursive. Okay, and then our new spelling words. So let's review our new spelling words. So while I read them, you repeat them. You guys know the, the process. So apple, puzzle, little, bottle, rattle, middle, wiggle, bubble, Puddle, juggle, scribble, carol, nibble, riddle, and giggle. Yeah, so that's our spelling. Here we go with the math. All right. We have 7,300, 4,718, 4,376. Our multiplication, we had 275, 396, 539, 99, and 44. And the division. Let me uh, work these divisions out. Yeah, I already did it because my phone messed up, but I want to walk you through it. So let me walk, rewrite them and walk you through it because it's a new, new uh, technique, something new. So here we go. So four into 19, four into 19. So this is saying four divided by 19. All right, all right. So we're trying to see how many times we can fit four into 19. So what we do is we start with the one. How many times can four fit into one? And it can't fit, right? So we gotta go to the 19. So how many times can four fit in 19? So let's, let's start with the number that we know. Let's go four times five, that's an easy one. Four times five is 20, but it can't, it's too high. So we can't go too high, so let's go back to Four times four. Four times four is 16. That will work. So four times four is 16, because this number cannot be higher than this one, and then we subtract. 19 minus 16 is three. Now we gotta ask ourselves, can four fit into three? Nope, it can't. So that is called our remainder. So how we write our remainder is a little teeny r with the remainder, which is three. So in other words, we're saying four can fit into 19 four times, but not quite. We still have three left over. So four with a remainder of three. All right, now what do we have? 29 divided by three. 29 divided by three. Okay, you may also see it looking something like this and other math sheets. That's the division sign, okay. Anyways, all right, three into 29. So we gotta start with the two. And three cannot fit into two, so we gotta go to the 29. If this was another three, we could go three, could fit into three one time, but it's a two, so it can't quite fit. So how many times can three fit into 29? Let's start with a big number, three times 10. We know three times 10 is 30, but that's too high. So we gotta go back one. So nine times three, we know is 27. So we write that 9. We don't write over 2. We write it over the 9. So 9 times 3 
is 27. Ty, is that still recording? Can you look and see? Yeah. Okay. 9 times 3 is 27. 29 minus 27 is 2. 3 cannot fit into 2, so that becomes our remainder. So we put that little dinky R and we put the 2. So 3 fits into 29 9 times, but not quite. And we have 2 left over. All right, the other division. 17 divided by 2. All right, 2 can't fit into 1, so we got to go into the bigger number, 17. So let's start big again. 2 times 10. 2 times 10 is 20, but that's too big. So let's go 2 times 9. 2 times 9 is 18. Still too big. So let's go 2 times 8, which is 16, and that will work. We put that 8 above the 7, not the 1. 2 times 8 is 16. And then we subtract it. 17 minus 16 is 1. 2 cannot fit into 1, so we write our 1. So 8 with the remainder of 1. All right, that is today's bow work. Let's go ahead and get out your fluency sheet, which is John Glenn. It's week 6 at the top, John Glenn. Get your partner, or remember if you read by yourself, still read out loud so you're practicing. All right, ready? You got one minute. Get your mind ready. Get your mouth ready. Get your finger ready. Get set and go. One minute. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. And stop. Go ahead and mark the ones you got wrong and record the score. Put it on that second page and be ready Thursday to try and improve that score. And here we go. So pick up that paper off to the side and save it for Thursday. On to spelling bingo. Go ahead and get your bingo sheet out. Pause it if you have to, otherwise we're going to get started. We'll play a couple games. I'm gonna check my recorder, make sure it's still going. It's still going. Here we go, first word. Scribble, S-C-R-I-B-B-L-E, scribble. Middle, M-I-D-D-L-E, middle. Apple, A-P-P-L-E, apple. T-T-L-E, bottle. Puzzle, P-U-Z-Z-L-E, puzzle. Giggle, G-I-G-G-L-E, giggle. Riddle, R-I-D-D-L-E, Riddle. Rattle, R-A-T-T-L-E, Rattle. (coughs) 
Wiggle, W-I-G-G-L-E, Wiggle. Two more. Little, L-I-T-T-L-E, Little. Cattle, C-A-T-T-L-E, Cattle. And that's that game. All right, let's start a new one. Clear your sheet. Cover your three spot. And first one. Kai, still recording? Yes. Apple, A-P-P-L-E, Apple. A-P-P-L-E, Apple. Little, L-I-T-T-L-E, Little. Juggle, J-U-G-G-L-E, Juggle. Wiggle, W-I-G-G-L-E, Wiggle. T-T-L-E, Bottle. Scribble, S-C-R-I-B-B-L-E, Scribble. Giggle, G-I-G-G-L-E, Giggle. Puddle, P U D D L E, puddle. Two more. Riddle, R I D D L E, riddle. One more, this is it. Who's gonna win? Nibble, N I B B L E, nibble. All right, go ahead and get out your cursive sheet. We're going to start a new book because we finished Pirates of the Caribbean. And I got a new scenery here because it's a spooky book because we're going to do Goosebumps Horrorland. Pretty sure we haven't read this one. We got a little thunder theme going there. Spooky. I'm going to check my phone. Still recording. We're looking good. All right, here we go, Horrorland. All right, here we go. Okay, chapter one. The menace was dressed in black from head to toe, his shirt and tie, his pants, his jacket, his shoes were the deepest black. He wore black gloves and his face was completely hidden in the shadow of a wide brimmed black hat. We had been forced to march down long, dark halls. The walls were gray, the plaster cracked and peeling. I saw no windows. We ended up in a huge empty chamber. Our footsteps scraped loudly over the stone floor. The gray walls were bare. They rose up forever to a balcony that overlooked the chamber. At the front of the room there was a stage, and a podium, and a man dressed in black. There were no chairs in front of the stage. We stood awkwardly huddled together. Behind us the door was blocked by shadow people. They watched silently as the menace gripped the podium with his gloved hands. Well, well, well. Don't all of you look frightened, he said. His voice rang off the high stone walls. Matt Daniels is tall and athletic. He is one of the bravest kids. He stepped forward and shouted up to the stage. Why did you bring us here? Why? What do you want? The menace uttered a cold laugh. Love the sound of your fear, he cried. Love it. Love it. 
Matt stepped back. He muttered something to Carl Beth Caldwell. Carly Beth is a little and pixie-ish and looks much younger than her age. Twelve. Luke and I stood behind them. I couldn't hear what Matt said. The menace's words still rang in my ears. His voice was deep but hoarse at the same time. His icy laugh raised the hairs on the back of my neck. How does it feel to be so completely afraid, he asked. Do you think it's possible to be scared to death? Well, good friends, we're going to test that out, aren't we? Luke squeezed my hand. Is he for real, he whispered. I started to answer, but the words caught in my throat. Billy Deep and his sister, Sheena, took a few steps back from the stage. They kept glancing behind us to the door, probably thinking of making a run for it. Brittany Cros Crosby and her friend Molly Malloy couldn't hide the fear from their faces. They stood with their arms crossed tightly in front of them and their jaws clenched. We escaped foreign land to come to this place, Matt shouted up to the stage. We were told we'd be safe here. Safe, the menace, menace replied. No one is safe, safe in my park. He slapped the podium with both hands. Uh-oh, guys, don't look now, but I think someone lied to you. His words created an uproar. We all started talking at once, and then Matt and Michael Monroe stepped in front of Jillian and her twin brother Jackson. Matt balled his fist at his sides. You're the ones who lied to us, he cried. We formed an angry circle around Jillian and Jackson. You tricked us into coming to Panic Park, Carly Bus said. Lizzie told the truth that we'd be safer in Horrorland, but you told us she was lying. We thought you were our friends, Carly. Carly Bus's friend Sabrina Mason said in, in a trembling voice. How could you do this to us? Michael is big and powerful. His nickname was Home. His nickname back home is Monster. <coughs> He pushed his face right up to Jillian's. Important? So? Yes. Okay. He pushed his face up to Jillian's. Admit it, he said angrily. Admit it, Jillian. You tricked us into coming here because you and your brother were working for the menace the whole time. No, Jillian cried. She stumbled back, trying to get away. But Michael stayed right in her face. It's not true, Jackson shouted. Leave my sister alone. We, we, we were never working for the menace, Jillian shuddered, her face bright red. It's not true. It's not true. Oh, but it is true, the voice from the stage called. I gasped. A silence fell over the big room. It is true, the menace said to the twins. Don't lie to your friends. But, but, Jillian stammered. The menace raised a glove hand to silence her. Where do you think your special powers came from? From that tacky wooden fortune teller? Of course not. Your powers came Special delivery from yours truly, the one and only Menace. No, Jillian cried, shaking her head again and again. No, no, we didn't know, Jackson exclaimed. He turned to Matt, to Michael, and the rest of us. We didn't know we were helping the Menace, I swear. You're both liars, Michael cried. No, Jackson tried to duck away, but Michael punched him hard in the stomach, then tacked him home to the stone floor. Grunting and groaning, the two boys wrestled at our feet. Stop it, stop it, Jillian screamed, her hands pressed tightly to her cheeks. Love it, love it, called the menace, thumping the podium with his glove fist. I can smell the fear in this room. Michael gave Jackson one last punch, then he jumped up. Jackson lay sprawled on his back, groaning and, gro and rubbing his sore stomach. Oh, come on, the menace sighed. Don't you want to fight some more? You know it makes me happy. I squinted hard, trying to see the face under the wide brim of the black hat, but I could see only shadows. Is there a face under there? The menace raised one arm and waved to the shadow people at the back of the chamber. Come over here, Shades. Take Jillian and Jackson away. Huh? Jillian let out a cry. Take them away, the menace ordered. They've done their job brilliantly, but I have no more use for them. Wait, Jackson cried. What do you mean? What are you going to do to us? Jillian wailed. But they didn't get an answer. Shadow people slid around them, covered them in a blanket of darkness, and herded them out of the room, through a narrow door behind the stage. I shuddered. I could still hear the twins screaming from the other side of the door. The menace leaned over the podium toward us. How frightening is that, he said. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm tingling all over, and the fun hasn't even started yet. I heard a noise. I turned in time to see Billy deep spin around and break the door behind us. His shoes clattered on the hard floor. Let's go. We're out of here, he screamed. Sheena started to follow him. No, wait, I cried. Billy, don't. 
I saw the danger. I guess Billy didn't care. He was almost to the entrance when a group of shadow people floated in front of him. They wrapped themselves around him. For a long moment, we couldn't see him. He disappeared behind the shadows. I held my breath and watched him come bursting out right through the shadow people. We all saw him. We all saw what had happened to him. But his sister Sheena was the first to scream, No! Oh no, what have you done to my brother? Chapter 2 will be tomorrow. Alright, so remember for tomorrow, which is Wednesday's work, we need uh, your bell work done and ready to go, be reviewed. Uh, sign sheet over, out, so I can go over the directions, and then your cursor sheet. And then we'll continue our book. Hey, good work. Enjoy the rest of the day.